Do you think of them as patrolling the skies in Afghanistan or Iraq? But unmanned aerial vehicles, better known as drones, may soon be coming to the skies above you, and in a good way. The Federal Aviation Administration is opening American airspace to more drones in 2015, and they'll be commercial, not military. And with that increase, John Fort tells us, the industry is looking at not only creating more drones, but more jobs. First, you screw the motor on here. Chris Anderson left his job as editor of Wired magazine last year to chase what he calls a huge idea. Planes that fly themselves. You and I call them drones, and in a struggling economy, they're the type of fresh idea that might provide a nice lift. The industry claims it could create as many as 100,000 jobs, adding $82 billion to GDP in the next 12 years. Anderson's company has gone from zero to nearly 100 employees, and he's not alone. AeroVironment, a drone maker based outside LA, has seen its sales grow tenfold. About 10 years ago, we had between two and 300 people. Today, we've got somewhere around 750 people. So it's been a, it's been a, a, a significant growth period over the last decade. The key growth market for drones? Farms. It turns out self-flying planes are an ideal way to check for diseased plants or even do some crop dusting. Outside of privately owned farmland, there are some limits to how quickly the business can grow from here. There's public perception, which pegs drones as military tools or privacy violators. And then there are regulators who have a little over two years to draw up rules governing how they're used. Before they can do that, they've got to run tests. And a key deadline to apply as a drone test site is coming up Monday. But the drone industry isn't just targeting farmers and big business. Startups like 3D Robotics have personalized models that a hobbyist can get for less than a thousand bucks. Anderson believes it's ultimately going to be creative users of low-cost drones that define the market, like mainstream users of personal computers did a generation ago. We put advanced technology in the hands of regular people, and they figured out what it's for. For Nightly Business Report, I'm John Ford.